is good everybody welcome to an epic my Dad toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are back with another fantasy booking style video where today we are going to be fantasy booking my second favorite well it may be the third phase second or third i love to talk about the royal rumble i think no, ro number one is definitely royal rumble and number two is a toss up between money in the bank and elimination chamber you know elimination chamber of the past was much better i feel like the new elimination chamber just isn't quite it so i'd probably put money in the bank in the number two slot of my favorite stipulation paper views of my favorite stipulation matches. I hate that we have a whole pay-per-view named after Money in the Bank. If you guys watch the channel, you know I mention this every single year. Hell in a Cell, Money in the Bank, Elimination Chamber. All these stipulation style pay-per-view names are really just trash because shouldn't the feud just call for the matchup like a Hell in a Cell? Shouldn't a crazy feud call for the Elimination Chamber? I don't really mind the Elimination Chamber being like a staple in on the, you know, on the main roster, like a certain pay-per-view that we have to get through. But why not just have it the, the pay-per-view before WrestleMania and not have to have, like, it called Elimination Chamber. I don't know. Just get creative with the names, man. But for Money in the Bank this year, you know, we only are going to have six participants in it. In years past, we've had more. In years past, we've had six before, I do believe. And this year, there is six. You guys know that we're not doing things traditionally. We're doing the big freaking Titan Tower Money in the Bank match where they have to go from the bottom floor of the Titan Tower all the way up through headquarters, all the way to the roof, in the ring, on top of a ladder and grab the briefcase. I think this match is supposed to be filmed cinematic style, so that should be pretty interesting, quite like the Boneyard match that we got from Taker and AJ Styles at WrestleMania 36. That's at least what I've heard. I don't think they've announced that just yet, but I have heard that. But so far this year, guys, we do have Apollo Crews, Aleister Black, Rey Mysterio, Daniel Bryan, and then we have two to-be-announced matches. The first being Trash Corbin taking on Drew Gulak, and this match is taking place tomorrow night on Friday Night Smackdown at time of recording, and I I think it's pretty obvious who is going to win this matchup. As much as I like Drew Gulak, they're definitely going to give the nod to Trash Corbin. They like Trash Corbin. They like to put him in these Money in the Bank matches, and uh, he is definitely going to win over Gulak, which is really unfortunate. So Drew Gulak will move on to the to the to the loss column. Brad, I meant to say Trash Corbin will be moving on, and he will be right here for this number five spot, and so he will be here. So this is what our field is looking at like at the moment. We got Apollo Cruz, Alistair Black, Rey Mysterio, Daniel Bryan, and Trash Corbin, and it's not a bad lineup. You you know, I honestly would prefer not having Trash Corbin, but um, for the last spot, there's a few things that could, could go down. We obviously know that Apollo Crews, Aleister Black, and Rey Mysterio are Raw superstars, and I'm pretty sure the last spot for this matchup is going to go to a SmackDown superstar. So, out of every SmackDown superstar, I think the only logical answer to fill in that last spot would be Mustafa Ali, with everything that has happened in the past and everything moving forward. So, I am going to predict that it's Mustafa Ali. However, I do have a few different scenarios scenarios going for, you know, whatever we think here. So if it wasn't Mustafa Ali, guys, I would definitely put my boy Jeff Hardy in there. I feel like he thrives in these matchups. Everybody knows that Jeff Hardy is the king of the ladder, and we know that uh, it would be beautiful to plug him into this matchup. I don't see it happening. I think they are going to go with Mustafa Ali, and that's completely fine. But one thing I also want to add is where the hell is Kevin Owens? Why isn't Kevin Owens in this matchup? Why is Kevin Owens not in here over Rey Mysterio or Apollo Crews? Hell, even Aleister Black. I, I don't think Aleister Black needs the money in the bank. I don't think it suits his character. So uh, Kevin Owens would have been a beautiful person to hold this. The fact that he doesn't have two money in the banks already is a damn travesty and a tragedy in itself. But that's for a whole different rant video right there. But getting back into it, guys, obviously Apollo Cru Crews punched his ticket. He's high on momentum. It's, it's good to see you know some new talent getting in here. Um, the only reason I say you could replace him is just because we're not used to him in this capacity. So Kevin Owens replacing him would not bother me. But uh, I am very happy for Cruz. I think he's going to thrive in this environment. Hopefully he can put on a good showing and he'll get a small little push here. I don't think it's going to result in a Money in the Bank victory, however, but, um, you know, it is cool to see him in a matchup like this and hopefully he gets some some shining moments here. Now, Aleister Black, we discussed, I could see him walking out with the Money in the Bank briefcase, but it does not fit his character. I feel like uh, WWE, the way they book him is just, I don't know, it's kind of loserific, you know, when people are knocking on his door and he's coming out and he's looking out of his door and he's like, what the hell's going on? You just look like a tool. You look like an idiot. You look stupid. You're like, who's not? He's like an old grandpa. You know, somebody comes and knocks on his door and he's like, who's knocking on my door and I will find you. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, why, why the hell is that even a thing? Hopefully we're a long ways past that, but you know, he, he has been on the main roster for a while and he's never really went anywhere with it. So maybe the Money in the Bank briefcase is a way to boost him up into the main level finally. We'll have to see about that. But getting back to the final spot in this thing with Mustafa Ali, I think it's pretty obvious he's going to win with everything going on. If you guys remember last year, him and uh, he, 
he was in this matchup and he was at the end there. He was right there about to unhook the briefcase. He took forever unhooking the damn briefcase. He could have won the money in the bank, but of course, out comes Brock Lesnar. He comes down. Mustafa Ali just looks like a deer in the headlights and he just stands there and he stands there and then eventually Brock comes down there, knocks him off the ladder, wins the money in the bank briefcase and then uh, Mustafa Ali goes off to oblivion and he doesn't get his Kofi Kingston style push. He doesn't get any of that and here we are. So um, he was supposed to be in that elimination chamber. He was supposed to win the money in the bank or supposed to win the money in the bank. He was in position to win money in the bank. Also, if you guys remember last year, Brock Lesnar took out Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn is IC champion, so that could be your own storyline right there. But unfortunately, I don't think they're going to give it to Jeff Hardy. This is what I would probably book. I would probably replace Trash and put uh, Jeff Hardy in there and then have that. But uh, this is what I'm stuck with. I think this is going to be our field. This is our final six right here. And Mustafa Ali comes in there. There's a couple ways it could go. Now, my first option would obviously be Mustafa Ali. I really want Mustafa Ali to win. So I would say have Mustafa Ali win the Money in the Bank briefcase. And then I, I've mentioned it on the channel before. You could have him capture the Money in the Bank, move on, and you could have him take on Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam for the Money in the Bank briefcase. You could have Brock come back and, you know, have him like a demon of the past, you know, of Mustafa Ali's. And like, oh my God, he took my opportunity from me. He's going to do it again. And all the crowd, the crowd would really be hyped for Mustafa Ali and beating Brock Lesnar like that. And you guys know how well Brock Lesnar works with those small guys. So that could be a great matchup at SummerSlam if you wanted to book it that way. But even if you remove Brock Lesnar from, from the situation, I still think Mustafa Ali is your best guy to win here. Um, Aleister Black seems to be on a lot of people's radars, which I understand, but given what happened last year to Mustafa Ali, I think he is your perfect Money in the Bank briefcase holder this year. Even though I don't want baby faces to hold the damn thing, I feel like everybody in this match is a baby face. Am I right? Who's a, is Trash Corbin the only heel in this mf -er? And he can't win again, guys. He, he just can't win again, okay? He wasn't ready last time. He's still not ready. Uh, if you guys follow the channel, you guys know that Trash Corbin is trash to me. He's he's not believable. He's like a high school bully. He's just like, you know, like, this is the best way I can describe it, okay? So, Trash Corbin seems like a high school bully. He seems like, yeah, he's a dickhead, but it's like, I, I could kick his ass, you know what I'm saying? He's not really a threat to me, but like Randy Orton, it's like, oh my god, he could he could hurt my family, you know? I feel like he's gonna break in my house and run over my children with a vehicle, if you get what I'm saying. Like, he's sadistic. He'll punt me in the skull. Trash Corbin is just like, oh yeah, he's, he's gonna pour dog food on me. He's, he's gonna pour dog food on me, and I might as well retire right now because everyone knows that's my biggest weakness, dog food. So that's it. That's basically where I'm standing at. It looks like everybody in this match is going to be a baby face, and I don't know how that's really going to entail with a cinematic style money in the bank if we even get there. Mustafa Ali may not even fill the last spot. I'm just going based off my own projections here. It could be a totally different guy. It could be a heel. I don't know who the hell you would choose, to be honest with you, because I looked over the roster, and literally the only one that makes any type of sense is Mustafa Ali or Jeff Hardy. I mean, you got other guys like Roman Reigns would be cool but he's not going to be coming back until this whole pandemic thing is over with. You have uh, Lars Sullivan, but he's absolute garbage, and if he were in the matchup, I would just turn the shit off. You got Bobby Roode, which is eh, Sami Zayn, but eh, Sheamus could actually fill that last spot, but I think that maybe Mustafa Ali could defeat Sheamus to get this spot. I don't know, really. It's really a lot up in the air, but if I'm booking it, Mustafa Ali wins, and he's holding the briefcase. This is where the best moment comes in. He's holding that damn briefca briefcase until the pandemic's over. Wait till the pandemic pandemic is over and the first live show back. Actually, this goes for anyone. Whoever wins the damn Money in the Bank briefcase, I really wanted to be Mustafa Ali. I think the pop would be huge. Aleister Black, the pop would be huge. I think anybody would even get a pop. I think Trash Corbin would get a pop at this at this juncture with everything that's going on in the world. But Mustafa Ali wins that damn Money in the Bank briefcase. First live show back on SmackDown, guys. And, you know, the crowd is freaking hyped. All the people have been waiting to get outside and get to a live show. I don't know when this is going to be. It could be a couple months. It could be on into August, who freaking knows, but we go into that first live show, and you know, the champion, whoever it is, I don't really give a damn, Braun Strowman, you could have The Fiend, I don't give a shit who it is, Brad, you get the freaking Money in the Bank briefcase holder to come out at the end of the show, or the beginning, or who, who whenever the hell you want, cash in that Money in the Bank, the pop would be absolutely ridiculous, whoever is holding the Money in the Bank, cashing in right there, it's going to be huge, and they're going to cash in on whoever the champion is, and I don't know when that is, but hopefully we get a longevity hold 
with the Money in the Bank briefcase. Tomorrow's video may be about why the Money in the Bank has been ruined the past few years, and I could break that down. I will definitely break that down possibly in tomorrow's video. But for today, ladies and gentlemen, this was my fantasy booking of Money in the Bank 2020. You know, again, it's very shitty, you know, that we don't have a live crowd for this for this show, for this, for this event. I think so far there's only five matches on the card. I would really like to see this match take place in a, you know, a full live crowd. It's not the greatest lineup ever, but, you know, last year's was a freaking banger. They would bring it here as well, so I, I, I don't know, man. It's just really crappy. I'm ready. I'm ready for this thing to be lifted. I'm ready to get back to normalcy. I'm ready to have some wrestling again. It's really hard to watch Raw or SmackDown without any live crowds, and it's just really shitty, man, but let me know who you want to win money in the bank down in the comment section below. What do you think about Kevin Owens and Jeff Hardy being left out of this match? Really think they would thrive in this environment, man. Really damn shame here. I really want to see Kevin Owens win a couple money in the banks before he retires. I know he's still got some left in the tank. He's got years left in the tank, but I still want to see him with the money in the bank. It fits his character. It fits everything with it. I think he would drop great promos, cashing in and stuff. So that is going to do it, guys. Let me know what you think down below. There's no other way it should go besides Mustafa Ali and or Aleister Black, even though I don't really want that. I would be okay with it. But anyways, guys, anybody but Trash Corbin honestly would settle with me, but I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Thank you so very much for watching this video. It was supposed to go up this morning. I don't know what the hell happened, but anyways, guys, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, my damn toys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Baller.